Hello and welcome back to Larlo video. If you're new here, I'm Lauren and I like to dye my hair sometimes. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my custom formulation with the Lime Crime Unicorn Hair Dyes to create my own personal color. So lately I have been combining these two hair dyes from Lime Crime. This one is the Unicorn Hair Tint in the shade Caramel and then I combine it with the Unicorn Hair Full Coverage dye in the shade Cutie. So as you can see, the shade Caramel is a lot more brown toned, and it is a red base, which actually lends pretty nicely to creating a copper color. So I would say my ratio is a little bit more of two parts of Cutie and then one part of Caramel. But this time I figure since we are getting into fall and I kind of want to go a little bit darker, I have increased the amount of caramel and this is my copper color that I have going on. Ultimately I'm no mixologist or scientist, I just kind of keep mixing the two until I like the way they look. I also like to add some white conditioner just because I feel like it extends the product a little bit further. But this is where I have it. And for comparison, this is what Cutie looks on its own. So it's definitely a little bit deeper. I am so paranoid about holding this over my white carpet. I'm gonna put it down. But yeah, so I just wanted to go a little bit deeper this time. As for my blonde streak, I've actually lately been doing a peach colored streak and I really enjoy it. It kind of brings me back to like, I don't know, how many years ago was that? Like 2017? It's crazy. But yeah, what I have been doing to create a peach color is a ton of white conditioner and then I have been taking a little bit of Cutie and a little bit of this pink color conditioner from Caracolor. So adding that with a ton of conditioner and some orange, it really creates the most perfect peach color and yeah, I'm excited to touch up my hair today. So without further ado, I am going to shampoo my hair and then come back on camera for the application. I always feel like it's such a hard left coming on camera after having my hair done and then <laughs> just being a, a little frizzy mess. All I do is shampoo and then I try to comb through it and it just, it multiplies in size. I am like a little bit impatient because it does still feel a little bit damp back here but it is already six o'clock and I have stuff to do tomorrow and I don't want to be going to bed with a sopping wet head so we are going to push forward. I am going to start on my left side just because it feels honestly more dry and yep that's about it. Cowabunga. Here it is! Oh, it looks so dark. I'm scared. This is definitely darker than I've been doing it, so I'm curious to see if I like it. Hopefully I do. We are already flying through this, because I am onto the top section of my left side. And honestly, the, the right side is going to be a lot more interesting for you guys, because you'll actually be able to see it. Oh my gosh, this already looks like such a pretty color. I hope I hope I like it as much when it rinses out. Trying to do the bangs is like deceptively difficult because it's hard to get a grip on them and get underneath them, you know? Like to get to the root. It's really annoying. I hope you guys can see the difference in the root color. Hey, the glue go off. This is, oh, this is gonna be a fun color, I think. Oh my gosh, I got this awful cut on my thumb knuckle and it is driving me insane. So I was trying to open this brand new container of ground cinnamon from Costco and I got like the, the little safety seal off and I screwed the lid back on and I was trying to pop the lid so that I could get the little sprinkled side open and I kept like messing with it and something inside me told me like just stop you know just unscrew it and pour it'll be a lot easier but I kept on I, I flew too close to the sun and I like ripped open the skin on my thumb knuckle trying to get it open and also like why is the package so sharp I don't understand I am not doing so hot with the sectioning on this side. 
I hope it doesn't come out patchy. Oh, I almost lost the dye. Well, I keep getting dangerously close to this white door. Honestly, I may put on too much dye, but I'd rather have it like overly saturated and waste some of the dye than have it undersaturated and be super patchy. Well, I definitely got dye on my ear. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, dang it, now I got it on both ears. Ah. Okay, so I think we're fully saturated. Look at how orange that is. Oh, I'm an idiot. I am gonna leave this on for about an hour and then I'm gonna mix up the streak color and do that for an additional 30 minutes and I think that should be good. I'm excited! Oh, and here's how everything is looking. I don't know if you can see anything, but hopefully you can. I will see you guys once my hour is up. So the timer is going to be going off pretty soon for the hair dye that I already applied and I figured I would pop on camera just to show you the mixture that I do for the peach. Alright, so first I'm going to be starting with a white conditioner. You can use any color you want, it's just easier to see an accurate representation of how the color is going to come out if you use white. Okay, so I have put about that much into my mixing bowl. Then I'm going to do about two pumps of the pink. And I'm just going to be testing out a little bit of the orange with the pink just to see how it's starting to come out. And I'm just mixing these. The only thing that's weird about mixing conditioner with it is that the hair dye itself is really sweet smelling. But then if you have a conditioner that smells like rainwater or something fresh, it smells really weird. <laughs> Damn, this color actually came out pretty well. I might add just a little bit of pink. A very small amount of pink. So I just added about a half pump of the pink. And that's how that's looking. That doesn't really look that much different, <laughs> but wow. It never goes that smoothly. Like it usually takes me a long time. Oh, I did also want to say that you don't have to use this conditioner from Also, I wanted to say that you don't have to use this conditioner from Caracolor. The only reason that I'm using it is that I have pink left over and I didn't want to go out and buy something new when I do have a pink at home. It's just, this isn't going to be as moisturizing and conditioning as just using like a regular hair dye, but yeah, just so you know. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop at this amount and this color. I am gonna make it a little bit more intense than I did the last time because it faded really quickly. So I'm gonna see if this intensity will have a little bit more longevity to it. All right, so it is time to apply. I think I might start with like the bang area first and then work my way towards the back of my head. I just got my eyebrow. It's crazy how red the the other dye is looking. I don't know. Don't know what's going on there. This is like the number one thing that drives me nuts after I've dyed my hair is that I'll notice like right by my ear I didn't get my roots. So I'm really trying to make sure I get it this time. Hi sweet angel, what you doing? It's looking not too bad. Um, I guess on the ends of my hair, I'm just gonna add this peach color, see if it does anything. Because the rest of my hair is definitely very much dry. I forgot to do that little, like, plastic bag thing that keeps the heat in, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. Alright, I think this is pretty good. I'm not gonna mess with it too much more. So I'm gonna leave this actually, I think, 40 minutes, just to get a little extra time. And then I will be rinsing it out with very cold water. Uh, it is going to be a horrible shower. <sighs> Excuse me. And then I will be back with the final result. All right, guys. So it is the next day. I have washed my hair and styled it. Of course, it is hideous and gloomy outside, so we're not going to get that sunshiny goodness. But figured I would show you guys the result. 
Y'all ready for this? Bow now, now, bow, 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 hey, bow, 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 I haven't seen it from the back yet, so I hope it looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can sit on this like a cool teacher. Mm. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's itching himself. All right, so here is how everything looks in the back. Admittedly, it isn't very copper looking. It more so just looks like a, a deep red kind of auburn color, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. The peach streak kind of looks a little bit more just green, or er, not green, orange, but I think it looks pretty nice. So yeah, if you wanted to recreate this at home, just use the Lime Crime Unicorn Hair Tint in the shade Caramel, and then the Lime Crime Unicorn Hair Dye Full Coverage in the shade Cutie. If you do end up doing that concoction, definitely let me know in the comments below or tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see how it turns out. And that is pretty much it for this video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet and just show you guys how I've been updating my hair and I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely leave this video a thumbs up so I know that you like the hair related content and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay soft and spooky. Bye! Bow now, bow, 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 bow